Hey family, it's your girl Miss Diamond34 coming at you guys today with a 15 question tag. Before I get started, do you see my neck, how bare it is? Okay, where my choker? I took off my choker. Everybody think it's a tattoo that I have around my neck, but it's actually a choker that I got from Claire's a while back, which is my all-time favorite, and I really never take it off. I took it off the other day, and I can't find it. I don't know where I put it at. So now my neck look really, really bare. Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> I found a tag that was on YouTube, and it seemed really, really fun. So I wanted to jump in and do it. So all of my subscribers who's watching, if you like this tag, then you have been tagged. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the questions. And the first question says, what do you think you can do but you can't? And I'm going to have to say a card wheel. Now, I know right, I know now since I done got a little weight up on me, you know, I ain't going to be trying to do no flip and all that stuff like that. But I remember a while back, I tried to think that I could do a card wheel and couldn't because everybody could do it. But me, I have way to do the turn, but I don't get it all the way. So, yeah. Anyway, the next one says, number two, what is a difficult word for you to pronounce? Believe it or not, it's beauty. And I don't know if I be saying beauty right or beauty, beauty. I be trying to pronounce it right, but people always tell me that I don't, when I say the word beauty, they start laughing. And I be like, what's funny? You know what I'm saying? So, beauty is a, it's a I don't know, I'm going to be saying something wrong. Or what, I don't know, y'all. It's just how it comes out, you know? So, anyway, number three is, what is a favorite TV show from your childhood? I really cannot remember, you guys, tell the truth. All things I can tell you that I used to watch, I love Lucy from I don't know when, like, you know, when I was in middle school, I remember watching I Love Lucy. So, and that has been through every generation, you know, as far as being on TV, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, number four says, what are your virtues and vices? Well, virtues, I'm a very nice person. I'm very laid back. I'm very easy going. I mean, I make friends very easily. And I talk to almost anybody. You can be a complete stranger and I sit up there and hold a conversation with you. That's how quick I make a friend. So as far as my vice goes, I'm just going to say I'm a very, very impatient person. I hate waiting in lines. If I go in the drive through if the line is super duper long, I'm busting in the car. Driver's license place, anywhere like the bank, anywhere it's a long line, I just get very impatient. I'm like, oh my God, can they hurry up? You know what I'm saying? I know I shouldn't be like that, y'all, because, I mean, you have to wait in life on things, but, hey, you know how, well, that's how I am. I don't know why. Um, The next question says, what is more important, love, fame, power, or money? Well, of course, love, because even with um with money, I mean, you could be sad. You know what I'm saying? Everybody not have, it, we have money. Money causes more problems, if you ask me. But you know what? I'm like Medea now, when I show in the hell with love to find out, Okay. Okay, hello. And power and fame only gonna take you so far. So love, definitely, definitely love is more important. Um, the next question is if you could live in any era or time period, when will it be and why? And I'm gonna say the nineties because the nineties was the she is knit. Okay, seriously. That was salt and pepper. You know what I'm talking about? I was hearing more of um slick rick. I used to love some slick rick, y'all. Believe it or not, me and my friend, we used to um she used to like be box and I used to rap the Slick Rick song, uh, The Children's Story. Once upon a time, not long ago, well, so I don't know the rest of the word, y'all. Live the life and live life slow. Laws are stern and justice stood. And people are walking around like that. Well, I took it was a little boy who was misled. Let me stop, y'all. Because I forgot half of the damn words not long it been. But I used to rap that while she be boxing. Yeah, that was back in the day, boy. Okay, y'all, next question is, if you could redo your entire wardrobe, wardrobe with only two stores, what store would it be and why? What two stores would it be and why? Well, first of all, I'm not a a big on a clothes fanatic, should I say. Basically, like, I'll buy some earrings in a minute and ain't got nothing to match with it. I'm an earring fanatic, um... I'm not a shoe fanatic. People, people buy shoes. You know, you ain't got nothing to work with it because they love shoes. As far as clothing, I'm not really. I'm going to say DD's discount. 
I bet some people like, wow, like DDs, because these is like a really inexpensive store. But every time I go on DDs, I always find something. And it's nice, and it's reasonably priced. They have long sundresses in there that I love. I always find me a top in there and some jeans. I don't care about the name brand. As long as it looks good on, I'm good to go. So I'm going to say DDs discounts for one. Uh, as far as my second store, I'm really not sure. I really don't shop for clothes a lot. So I could say Ross. I'm just going to say Ross. I know those are just regular department stores, nothing in the mall or none. Because I don't really care about shopping in the mall for no clothes. It costs too much. So oh, yeah, I got to call. <coughs> I think I'm sick a little bit. I've been coughing a lot today. Okay, y'all. The next question says, can you recall what were you doing a year ago today? What were you doing a year ago? I guess at the same time, like now, whatever. Hell, I don't know. Because I can even, I don't even know what happened two days ago. You know what I'm saying? I sure can't know what was going on a year ago this time. What I don't have to say is what? Getting the kids ready for school to go back to school? Not really sure. Now, number nine question says, do you have reoccurring dreams? If so, explain. Well, believe it or not, I barely do dream. And then when I do dream, I don't remember my dream the next day. So I'm not a big dreamer at all. And I've heard, like, when you dream a lot, that means you, like, worried about something. So, yeah. Number 10, what is your horoscope? Well, I didn't look and see what my horoscope was today, but I'm a Taurus. And I know Taurus are very, like, uh, laid-back people, like I mentioned earlier, and stuff like that. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, number 11 says, what does your dream bedroom look like? Well, as long as it has zebra print incorporate in it i don't care what that solid color is it could be red it could be turquoise it could be purple it could be pink any of those colors that go along with zebra print is perfect as far as the bed go i would love a huge canopy thick rice poles uh oak wood i mean gorgeous uh chesters and dresser draw i mean i don't care as long as the room is big pretty got like a little fireplace in there i mean it was just really really nice so yeah that's what I say my dream room would be. Um, number 12 said, what position do you sleep in? I sleep on my stomach or on my side. I could not sleep on my back. No, 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 no. I don't know because I'm fat or what, but I am not sleeping on my back. On my stomach is very, very comfortable. I get my pillow and I squish them all up and lay on my stomach kind of to the side a little bit. So very comfortable for me. Uh, number 13 says, uh, what is your favorite vampire of all time? Well, I don't really watch a lot of scary movies. I don't really watch a lot of vampire movies either. So the only thing that I can say that I, a movie that I can remember that I really, really, really enjoyed was Vampire in Brooklyn with Eddie Murphy. Now that was bad. You know, all this new stuff that's out now, Twilight and all that. I don't watch all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I know about it, of course, but I don't really watch that. I don't really catch my attention, I guess. Uh, number 14 said, what are you currently wearing on your feet? I am actually barefooted right now. I have on any shoes. I have on my little house coat that you guys always see me make a movie in or video in. It's my black little throw jacket right here that I have on. Um, now, the last question says, do you have neat handwriting? Show us. Okay, I'm going to say I got okay handwriting. These are the questions that I just uh, asked right here. And this is my handwriting. I mean, it's fairly neat. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's legible. But, yeah, anyway, guys, that that's all of the 15 questions. I hope you guys really, really enjoy the um, the tag. And if you want to participate, just leave it as a video response below. And a quick, quick, quick face up today. If you're wondering which girl is rocking, I actually have on the L.A. color. Don't know the trio name because I think it's Lemon. Is it Lemon Grove? I could be Lemon Grove, y'all, but it is the green that you see there. And it is the brown that I have there. And so, yeah, I just have a little bit of white in the my I normally don't put white in my eyes right there, but I did today. So, yeah, anyway, and the earrings are from Burlington Coat Factory. I have these in three different colors, a turquoise, a green, and a red. So, yes, other than that, you guys, I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, family, always stay fabulous.